In Northwest Dallas, Atmos says their crews are still on track to replace miles of aging steel pipelines. But getting customers back into their homes is a slow and tedious process. Our Robbie Owens is live in the neighborhood tonight. Robbie. Well, Ken, we've been in that neighborhood, so we know that crews are still working around the clock on those underground pipelines. But Atmos today telling us that the biggest obstacle to making these repairs is completing the repairs to piping to the customer homes. And that's what these crews are doing now. With a couple of thousand homes still without heat and hot water, Atmos says 25 plumbers have been added to the list of crews working to restore natural gas service. They're handling customer line repairs. I don't see it happening for weeks. Jimmy Carnes is a general contractor and lives near the impacted area. He says just doing the math on the manpower needed means the company's three week time frame is a stretch. He says skilled plumbers are already in big demand. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you, you, you've got a, a very limited supply of people anyway. And a lot of those people that are qualified have gone to Houston or other areas that have had the storms. And so you've got a small pool of people to pick from. Repairs have been completed to a few hundred homes, and those residents have returned. Remember, though, many more are still waiting. In the mornings, I do have to just run, run the cold water over me. That's a little rough, but for two minutes, it's not bad. Um, and then in the evenings, I just shower at the gym. Keegan Ray says the Atmos reimbursement has been fair, so he has no complaints, just questions about how long the repair work will last. I don't know, 10 days might be tough. I see a lot going on, and it's all day. It's all day. It's been going on all day and night, so. Now, on another note, some homeowners telling us that Atmos has scaled back plans to add smart meters to homes while they're making those repairs. Atmos today not commenting or confirming those reports, but as you can see, the rest of that work still going strong. Reporting live in Northwest Dallas, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News. All right, Robbie, thank you. Right